Hey, Sky. Are you okay? You aren't nervous, are you? No, I'm happy as a box full of clams. I can't wait for the schoolies to get here so I can share what I learned in school. What are you going to talk about? I'm going to help Diana explain to the little half pinters about the fish life cycle and... Oh, wait, here they come now. So on. Buenos dias. Bonjour. Good day, mates. Au salam. Going to help Diana explain the fish life cycle and how a fish grows up. And I've been doing some additional research to impress her. That sounds very... Interesting. That sounds very interesting. Finn, we're ready for your presentation. Yes. Oh, great. Let's give it a go. Every fish begins as an egg. Don't they call that caviar? Uh, no, not in this presentation. Some eggs are laid in nests that the mom or dad guards, and others just float along in the water. Yes, and in the case of a clownfish, the dad actually stays next to the eggs, while the larger mom patrols the area to keep the eggs safe. That is called the egg stage. When the eggs hatch, they become larvae. A larval fish has an egg yolk attached to its belly for food. This is called the larva stage. And after the larva has eaten all the yolk, it starts to eat tiny animals and plants floating in the ocean. They look awfully small to be able to swim in that big ocean. You're right, Skye. Larval fish are carried on ocean currents because they're not strong enough to swim on their own. And that takes me to the next stage, the juvenile stage. That's what I am. Yes, when a larva finds a good reef to call home, he changes into a juvenile fish like Finn. Sort of a metamorphosis, like us butterflies go through. Not exactly the same, but we do change. At this stage, we look like very tiny fish. It happens almost overnight. Yeah, and we live in the same reef our whole lives. So what happens next? When I get full grown, I'll find me a nice mate and we'll start the cycle all over again. That's right. Most of the fish you see in the aquarium go through this same life cycle as they grow up. Thanks, Finn. That was really informative. Any questions? Oh, I'm not finished. We haven't talked about seahorses yet. First, a bloke seahorse and Sheila seahorse meet. Oh, excuse me. That's what we call men and ladies where I'm from. So, a male seahorse and a female seahorse meet. They dance, change color, and entwine tails. Is that how they flirt and get to know each other? Exactly. Then the Sheila, uh, um, I mean female, releases her eggs into the water, where they are fertilized. Then the male seahorse collects them in his pouch and carries them until they hatch. When the eggs hatch, they are considered to be in the young stage. They look like itty bitty seahorses. Can they swim? Yes, but not very well. They can swim out of their dad's pouch, but after that, they are pretty much carried along by the water. Even as adults, which is the last stage, seahorses are poor swimmers. That's why you'll see them using their prehensile, or grasping tail, to hold on to plants or corals. Which brings me to my next presentation. How does coral grow up? As you can see, the coral life cycle is similar in that you have an egg stage where the fertilized eggs float through the water until the larva emerge. Then each larva swims to the ocean floor, then attaches to an existing coral reef, rock, or other hard surface. What happens next? Once the larva is attached to a hard surface, it becomes a polyp. This next stage is the polyp stage. The polyp splits to make two polyps, and then it splits again and multiplies over and over again. Groups of the polyps are called colonies, like a big family that lives together. So when you see a piece of coral, you are looking at a colony of polyps. The ocean is a fascinating place. Finn, do you know about how sharks and stingrays grow up? Yes, sometimes the mum lays her eggs like a fish. But other times, the mum carries the fertilized eggs inside her. And when they hatch, they are called pups. Not the kind of puppies that wag their tail and lick your face. No, these are pups that look like tiny sharks and stingrays. It's just another way to say they are babies. But unlike other babies, sharks and stingrays have to learn how to hunt and catch their food right away. That's right. But sharks and stingrays stay pups for several years before they become adults and mate. 
I think we've learned a lot about how fish and other sea life grow up. Thank you, Finn. Uh, no worries. Glad to help. Thanks, Finn.